Hi everyone, welcome to another video from Crafty Terrain. And yes, you guessed it, my name's Lee. And today I'm going to be doing some more scatter terrain that's cheap and easy to do to fill out a 6x4 board. So if you're new to wargaming and just need to build tables, this is a good video for you. If you're more experienced and want to have a new board, then again, you should find something useful in this video. So I've been watching the Clone Wars TV series um, and I had the idea to build for Lucia the board. Uh, it's like a planet that's all like plants and bright colours and stuff like that. Uh, and then I was away on holiday and I saw a craft shop and next to the craft shop was like a shop and it was selling all uh, like plastic plants and stuff like that. So I went in and picked up these beautiful plastic plants to make this scatter terrain for our new board. So I'm going to show you how it's done. Let's get into the video. Okay, so to start off, what we're going to be using is this Fomex. Um, I like Fomex, a little bit more expensive than NDF, but you don't have to worry about like, treating it and warping and stuff like that. Um, and what I did was when I done the end door um, scatter terrain, I cut myself some extra bases, knowing that my next project was going to be for Lucia, because I, I really don't like cutting bases. I find it tedious and time consuming. So I usually just spend a good morning and just try to cut myself a lot. So I cut myself like about, I think there's 10 or 11 here. And then all I've done is I've cut down the edges with a sharp craft knife and rubbed them down with sandpaper so they are beveled and ready to blend in with the board. Um, hopefully this should be another quick project really. So all you gotta do, start off, I'm using this Burns Umber craft paint. Um, this is nice and cheap, I got this from a local like uh, store called uh, Home Bargains where you get cheap, cheap discounted products and stuff like that and have a little craft section. So then all you're gonna do is just start by brushing over and brush your paint on. We're gonna paint, uh, you don't have to worry about painting the bottom because we don't have to worry about treating it so it's just the top side. So just give yourself a good coverage and just cover the whole lot in brown. Um, and then this way, if any ground cover does ever come off, you don't see the white coming through on the bottom. That's why we always paint our bases, guys. So I'm gonna go around, paint all 11 of these, let them dry. And then we'll come back and we'll start adding on all the plants. Okay, so the bases are all painted brown now and looking good. Um, now, the next step then to build the flu ship is the flowers. Obviously, it's a planet that's all overgrown with plant life. Um, I recently mentioned I went to the coast, Landudno, um, and they've got some really good arts and craft shops up there. And next to the art and craft shop, there's like a florist shop, but it sells all plastic flake, fake flowers like this. And it gave me the idea that these will be absolutely perfect for building scatter and area terrain. When you've got them oranges, they're like a cloth material and they're like plastic stems with wiring. Got some blues. And if you look off to the side off camera, I've literally bought loads of these to fill out my board. Um, and there was a pound a bunch. So each bunch like this was one pound. So great value, not gonna cost me a lot to do. Um, and the really nice thing is they just clip off. Um, so for example, these here, you can just pull there and they come off. So really easy to disassemble, to build. And then all you're gonna do is just get your hot glue gun, place a dab of hot glue on the base, like so, and let it cool. Don't put the flour straight in, because sometimes the glue is so hot, it will melt the plastic on the stems and the flowers just go floppy and fall to the side. So just leave it for a few moments, let it start to cool down. You'll see it start to go, that literally goes from like a clear to like a cloudy white color. Um, and then you can put the flower in. Um, while this is drying, I just had this opportunity to say guys, if you're liking these videos, these short, real easy ways to make terrain for your boards, then leave us a like, let us know down in the comments if you've got any ideas and you want to see us make anything, okay? Um, and we'll be happy to do that for you. So if it's not drying quick enough, you can blow on it. And then all you'd look to do is just take the flower and just sit it into the hot glue and then hold it in place, okay? Hold it there till it's gonna dry hard and it's grabbed and won't fall over, okay? I'll wait for that to dry in place and then I'll show you how it's looking. Okay, so the first one's in place, which dried hard. 
And I've got another piece of glue here waiting. For these yellow ones here, um, some of the flowers will have metal rod through them, so you might need a pair of like snippers to cut them off. And for this one, I'm keeping some of the leaves and the foliage as well. I'm just going to pull that down to the bottom so it looks like the bottom of the plant, and then follow the same process. Just look to stick that into the hot glue and then you can place a bit of hot glue inside to hold the, the stem to the um, leaves as well. And if it does melt the plastic a little bit with these ones, it doesn't matter too much because you've got the metal rod in there. And then hopefully just let that dry and that'll start to build up, okay? The next one I'm using, I'm using these like long strips and when you've put, these are all individual, when you want the individual ones just bind them together like so, hold them in your hand, just make sure that's in and then you can put hot glue over the bottom and that will give you like, get them to hold and make a bunch and then we can stick the bunch to the base, that's the idea, okay, then I'm just going to let that dry, put your blob on the uh, Base where you want it to go, let it cool, and then come back and just stick your bunch into that blob. Put together quite nicely now. Um, I'm going to put some at the lower levels as well, just to build up the different layers. Add different colours. So I'm going to add a white and a blue here. And again, it's the same. I've put my glue down. I've let it dry a little bit, and then I'm just coming in and placing the the flowers into the glue. You're starting to get a really nice effect and then you can build these up to be as dense as you want um, or even not so many plants and have units so they can stand in there and have it as cover and stuff like that. I'm going to go around and add a couple more different colours to this. I think it might need a pink or so, um, to it as well, probably over this side. And then once they're all done, I'll lay them out and show you and we'll go to the next stage. Okay, so the flowers are all stuck on now and I'm very happy with how they're looking. As you can see, I've just built them up. You can see all the hot glue, but we're going to get the ground cover on now and we can hide that with the flock and stuff um, and the grass tufts later on. I think they're looking really nice. I've still got lots of flowers left over and I've built 11 of these pieces. So that's, you know, really good value there. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to the ground cover um, just to hide all that brown base. And uh, what we're going to be using for that is basically Mixed herbs, you can get them at the supermarket. They only cost, I don't know, 50p a pot or something like that. I've already got some in my plastic pot here. As you can see, it looks like a jungly, like wood chippings. Um, and they, they smell really not strong as well. I don't know if you say it's a nice smell or not. Uh, but over time, the smell does go, because I have done this technique before on um, some jungle terrain that we made which is pretty similar to this without all the flowers and uh, we can pop a link in there and then all you're going to be using is PVA glue and a brush and we're just going to look to cover all of your base and then we're going to tip the herbs over the top if you can see in here where you can see the bottoms there of the um, hot glue just get the PVA over the top of the hot glue and that will help hide that with the um, ground cover okay just get a nice thick covering go all the way up right to the edge of the base so it blends in with your board nice okay I'll go around get all this glue on and then I'll come back and I'll show you uh, the pour of the mixed herbs going on so that's covered in the, all the glue now and then I've placed my tray down to catch any of the excess of the and then you're just going to sprinkle on the herbs and get under all the uh, leaves to make sure that you get good coverage on the piece. And then all them bits that are falling off and when we bang it, well, we can just put back in our pot. And I'm going to need them for the other 10 uh, pieces of scattered terrain that I've got. As you can see, that's covering quite nicely. Make sure you get all the edges. Don't miss any bits. If you do, and or some falls off later on, you can hide that with the static grass and um, the grass tufts that we've got, okay? As you can see, that's all covered now, and then all you're gonna do is just tip that upside down, like so, and tap it off, okay? And that'll leave you a nice covered piece. Looks pretty cool already, looks like a nice, like, jungly 
whatever planet you want it to be. Base floor. I've left this one quite um, like sparse with the flowers so I can get actually units in there and use it as a piece of area train. The other ones I've done a bit more dense. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna do the rest and we'll come back for finishing touches. Okay, so all the background covers dried now and that's on there, nice and solid, and it's not gonna come off. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some, I've got some pink lichen or reindeer moss, um, some grass tufts that are pink, and some blue grass tufts that I got off eBay, nice and cheap, um, and we're gonna add them to the base of our piece, okay? And we're just gonna just look to cover any hot glue that you could still see or any imperfections. Um, again, we're going to be using white glue, PVA, and we're just going to go around and just pick some spots to dab on the glue around the bases of the plants and flowers, like so, in there, and then just tear off some of your lichen, like this, and then just stick it on to the glue and that's going to add some colour and depth to the base then so when it's on the battlefield and you're checking line of sight and things like that you're going to be able to see all this nice coverage that you've got on the bottom and not see any of them horrible bits of hot glue um, guys if you're liking this uh, like cheap and quick easy terrain videos that I'm doing like the end or terrain then let us know down in the comments they are a little bit quicker and a little bit more simple than some of the other stuff that we've done but I, I like these because I think they're a real good way for new people to get into wargaming um, and terrain building so like if you've just gotten into the hobby and you're gonna have your first battle you ain't gonna have loads of terrain so that's why I like these videos to encourage people um, to build their own terrain and to show them how to do it and if anyone that's, is trying our builds at home get in touch with us on our social medias we'd love to show the work that you've been doing at home so we're on twitter instagram and facebook at crafty terrain to get in touch with us um, or just let us know down in the comments so i'm going to go around and finish these off and then i'll put them on a battle board and we'll have a look how it's looking okay so there they are looking nice on the board i've put five out and a few minis so you can get the full effect got all them beautiful colors they're looking vibrant and bright which is gonna look great really cool if I look down through the canopy you can imagine it being that alien planet like Felucia in Star Wars you've got your Empire forces just moving through I'm pretty happy with how it's looking and these will feature in a battle report so keep an eye out for that very soon okay guys okay so there we have it that brings us to the end of another video um, these cheap easy scatter terrain videos that I've been doing I've really enjoyed I've done this one I've done Endor we've managed to build out two new tables for our battle report and you can see this uh, Felucia terrain in the up and coming battle report over the weekend so look out for that one um, if you are enjoying the videos and all the work that we're doing here at Crafty Terrain, we now do have a Patreon. If you would consider supporting us there, then go check that out. If not, remember, it's always free to subscribe and leave us a like on the videos. Um, if you are attempting any of these terrain pieces at home, then get in touch with us on our social media. We've got Twitter, Instagram and Facebook at Crafty Terrain and we'd love to feature some of your work that people have been doing in their own time. Uh, right, so that's a wrap guys. Have a great day and take care.